Hey, what's up, my cochinos and cochinas? I'd like to welcome you back to another fucking mukbang. Um, we call them mukbangs, gangbangs, finger bangs, do your thing. Um, my name is Trejo, and I'm back with another fucking video. Uh, today we got something very, very especial. We got some fucking cereal, homie. If you don't know about cereal, I recommend that you go watch the movie Friday. Uh, there's a guy named Craig, and he makes a big-ass bowl of cereal. Um, it's called a Craig Bowl of Cereal. I'm not doing that today. I'm just doing a regular human being size of cereal. But, um, yeah, if you don't know about cereal, go watch that first. And then also, uh, before you get... Um, before you try to log off, I'm going to be talking about the time that I fought Bigfoot. Now, before you go ahead and tell yourself, Bigfoot's not even real, I don't want to hear this shit... I suggest you listen to it to the end because um, there's some facts that I got to get to you that you need to know. Um, plus, you know, it's for your own safety. I definitely would want to stick around. Um, so let me go ahead and show you what we got here. So we got... Oh, by the way, I'm recording in my fucking room. Um, this is like a breakfast in bed, but technically I'm just sitting on the bed. So it's breakfast on bed, but that doesn't sound as attractive. So breakfast in bed is good enough. Um, so yeah, you know, add a in bed to anything on a fortune cookie instead of, uh, you know, at whatever. Add in bed at the end of the sentence on a fortune cookie and then it's sexual. I don't know. Some Asian told me that. I, whatever. Let's just go ahead and get the fucking bowl. We got the glass bowl on deck. Yeah, it didn't sound, it didn't, whatever. The sound wasn't fantastic. And then we got a spoon. All right. So you might be wondering what the fucking kind of cereal we're eating. You should already know if you saw the thumbnail, but I'll go ahead and show you. Boom. Lucky Charms Frosted Flakes, homie. Oh my God, bro. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Now you may or may not know this, but I wanna start doing fucking cereal mukbangs because there's so many fucking cereals I can choose, so many to choose from, um, and I can, you know, eat them for days, you know, kinda like ass or something like that, you know, I can just eat it for days. Um, there's just so many different fucking varieties. Uh, I'm stoked about it, you know what I mean? Yes, an essay, a cholo, you stoked. Um, but yes, these are Lucky Charms Frosted Flakes. These are like the cocaine of Lucky Charms, homie. Like, you know, they just sprinkle some cocaine on that bitch and call it Lucky Charms for us to flakes this shit is gonna be fucking fantastic i just missed pride month so you know i would have been able to be like i got it for pride but i didn't i got it for my stomach so either way shout out to my people who are proud um so yeah let's go ahead and uh get this busted open like dariana and get in you know what i mean go in on it you know that's what we really want to do right you want to get lucky right you want anyways all right let's just do it all right here's the fucking bowl let's go ahead and uh break this bitch open this is a brand new pack you know, I know that there's like YouTube videos out there, people like opening up baseball cards and shit, or basketball cards, trying to see if they got the fucking, uh, uh, fucking best one, like Michael Jordan and shit. Like, I'm just trying to do an unboxing of some fucking cereal that I'm gonna eat. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so here's my review. I sniffed it, it smells like cereal and shit. Alright. Alright, there we go, check that shit out homie, colorful ass fucking cereal, looks bomb, um, looks bomby, so that's definitely a, a huge plus, we got that, alright, we got the fucking um, vitamin D milk, I'm not going to show the label because I don't know if uh, the company's watching it and I'm trying to get sued, so I'm just going to say that I uh, milked my own cow here in um mexico and shit all right let's just go ahead and get it in oh yeah if you're lactose intolerant you still want to watch this video because uh there's lots of facts about bigfoot you're gonna want to hear and shit all right you gotta make sure you put plenty of fucking milk up in that motherfucker all right cool got that all right Let's go ahead and um, get get digged in and then uh, get the story time going because I know that's what you came for. Um, let me go ahead and give you a close-up of that motherfucker. Oh, yeah, look at that. It doesn't zoom in. It's not like the best fucking zoom in or nothing like that. That's it, bro. The cereal game is fucking over, bro. The cereal game is over. Lucky Charms, Frosted Flakes. 
They fucking killed the game, bro. This is fucking delicious, homie. Mmm. Mmm. All right. So, I'm going to get into the story time because we're already five minutes into the fucking video. And you probably got shit to do. You're probably at work in the bathroom watching this video. You know, trying to act like that you're taking a shit or something like that. But you're trying to really get this video in. It's cool. Don't blame you. Let's go ahead and get to the story time. Because by the time the story time's over, this cereal is going to be soggy as fuck. But I'm still going to eat it. All right. So, if you want to know the year, if you want to know like all the details and shit. It was back in like a cold winter of 2008. All right. It was winter time. I was living in the LA area, specifically Riverside, and I was part of a construction company. This construction company used to go all around the world and shit. Like we used to get projects. We used to get projects helping build the projects. Like this shit was crazy, you know what I mean? We were popular, we were on and going. So anyway, in the cold winter of 2008, we were asked to do another project. And this time, my boss Pat came up to us. He's like, all right, look, I need some of you guys, you're gonna get hazard pay for this, but you're gonna go to a very snowy area of Arkansas and you're gonna help build cabins. And so I was like, shit. I'm fucking down. I'm down for that hazard pay. You know, I want to get the extra money. You got to buy more food. You got to have more money. Take more hands out. So I was with it. All right. Mm. So. We all get ready. There's like four of us to go out there. We fly out. We get there. Set up, start working and shit. This was supposed to be maybe like a, uh, I say about a four month project. So, mm, it's just bomb, homie. So, um, we're working and shit. And there's like a lot of wildlife and shit. Deers, fucking, believe it or not, there's actually horses out there, like the wild horses. Fucking, all kinds of different animals that you, you know, would usually see in a forest type area. Which was fine, you know what I mean? Other ones, we were worried about like bears and shit. But we had set up some traps <clears throat> and some repellent to keep the bears away. So I wasn't really concerned with that, all right? So one of the nights that we were working, we got done. <clears throat> and usually when we were done, we would head out and go back to the hotel about 15 miles away. Maybe like 30 miles away, actually. But that day, the homies were like, and hey, we brought some beers with us, let's have some beers. Let's do like a fucking campfire. And we brought, um, one of the dudes brought hot dogs and shit. Sausages. Pause. So. I was like, alright, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's live a little. And like I said, I wasn't really chirping. Because we had the fucking bear repellent, you know what I mean? So we're out there. Drinking, laughing, telling jokes and shit. Campfire going. Grilling. Then we heard something. We heard the fucking... How do I say it? I don't know if you live in a snowy area or not. But you can hear when someone's walking in snow. And that's what it sounded like. And I was like, I don't know, that sounds like a little too heavy for it to be a fucking deer, you know what I mean? I don't think Bambi's walking through this motherfucker. So, I volunteered. I was like, alright, let me grab the strap, I'm gonna go see what's going on. You know, 
It's probably nothing. You know, maybe it's a fat ass deer or something that's just fucking licking too much salt. I don't know. So, I head out, flashlight, strap on me. Didn't see anything. I got maybe about, I'm going to give you minutes wise because you might not understand feet, but not insulting your intelligence. But I walked about five minutes away from where we were. And then I saw something run behind a tree. But this motherfucker was upright. I was like, oh shit, there's a fool out here. I was like, hey homie, I see you. You better come out of that tree. I'm going to start shooting straight through that tree. This hairy motherfucker looked like Bigfoot. Comes from out of the behind the tree, hands up like that. And I was like, what the fuck? This fool was like eight foot tall, bro. Hair, like fucking long hair, looking like Chewbacca in the fucking woods and shit, bro. I was tripping. I was like, oh shit. Nobody's gonna believe this shit. I didn't have my phone on me. I didn't have a camera. And at the same time, you know what I mean? I didn't want to run back, look like a bitch or anything like that, or scare this motherfucker away. So I was like, man, the most impact I'm going to have is fighting this motherfucker. That's like the most I'm going to get out of this situation to where I can live with and be like, hey, man, you know, I fought this motherfucker. Like, so I looked at that motherfucker and I was like, look, I don't know if you know English, but I'm going to beat your ass. And then he dropped his hands. So his hands were up like, and then he just dropped them. And so I figured, I was like, okay, that's his way. He wasn't making any noises or nothing. He was just, like, kind of breathing hard and shit. And I was just like, that's his way of saying that he's ready to fight or willing to fight. So I was like, I'm going to put the gun down. I'm going to come over there, and we're going to fight. And then, you know, he put his hands up. So I don't know if fucking Bigfoots, if they're real, if they be watching TV and shit. I didn't know how to box or if that's just their natural instinct. But he put his hands up. And was covering his jawline and shit. Like, he knew something. Like, I don't know. I'm not the best fighter. I've learned what I've learned from the streets. But either way, I set the gun down. I put him up. Go over there. We start fucking fighting and shit. Chunking him. Right? This motherfucker's getting on me. Beating my ass. I'm not gonna lie. You know, he has these fucking hard, powerful hits and shit. Now, I'm just gonna throw this disclaimer out there. I'm not 100% sure that it was Bigfoot, but this motherfucker was tall, this motherfucker had long hair coming from the face, like everywhere in his body is filled with hair. I mean shit, it could have been Chewbacca from Star Wars and shit, like I don't fucking know, but to me, it was Bigfoot and we got into a fight and he beat my ass and my boys actually came, They, you know, I was gone too long so my boys actually came over there. Um, but Bigfoot heard them coming, so he ended up taking off, jamming off hella fast my boys got there, they're like, what the fuck happened to you, homie? I was like, man, I didn't want to tell him, bro. I was like, I think a, a big-ass bear was over here. Fucking jumped on me, knocked me down, you know, hit me a couple times and took off. They're like, oh, shit, you could have got killed. I'm like, yeah, but I didn't. Well, this kill you makes you stronger, homie. So... That's not the end of the story, though. So, we ended up going back. They wanted to clear everything up, put everything away, and take off because they felt like they were in danger, right? Mmm. The best part of this motherfucker. Drinking the milk, homie. So, they didn't want to feel like they were in danger, so they wanted to load up and shit. So, we loaded up. We went back. And I started thinking to myself, how can I get this motherfucker back, bro? I can't just let a motherfucker whoop my ass, you know what I mean? Like, I don't give a fuck if you're Bigfoot, if you're Chew Bigfoot. I don't give a fuck if you're Bigfoot, if you're Chewbacca. I don't give a fuck, you know what I mean? Like, Robin Williams, rest in peace. Like, whoever the fuck was out there, hairy as fuck. I don't know who you are, but I can't let you get over on me. So I started thinking to myself while we were driving. I was in the back of the truck. I was just thinking, you know, I was just looking out the window like this. You know, you know, like one of those movies like where you're just sitting in the back and the car is rolling and you're like bumping around, just thinking, looking out the window like. I was thinking about my life and shit, right? And I was like, how can I get this motherfucker back, you know? It's probably very rare that you see one of these things. But I was like, what's even more rare is that you never see his bitch. 
If I could fucking somehow find this bitch, you know, I'm sure he has a family. He had to come from somewhere. He had to be born. If I just fuck this bitch, you know what I mean? I'll be able to get this motherfucker back. So, I want to continue on with that and tell you how I went about that. But that's going to be on the next Monk Bond. Let me know below um, if you want me to continue this story and tell you the rest of how I got him back. And if I was able to fuck this bitch or not. Let's go ahead and finish this Lucky Charms Frosted Flakes because it's fucking bomb. Mmm. Mm. Fuck you, Bigfoot. If you're watching this, fuck you, homie. Mmm. Hell yeah. Legit, homie. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell if you, um, let me think. Hit the bell icon if you used to watch Say by the Bell. Uh, comment below. Let me know if you want to see the continuation of this um, Bigfoot story. I guess I'll have to label it part one because there's a whole other part to it. I could have made it a 30 minute video, but you know, as me and you, we both got things to do. So it's cool if there's a part two. Um, so let me know. Hit that like button. See you on the next one.